Pretty as fuck in the face Got a fatty and thin in the waist Body banging, I look like a face So I see why they stay on my case I'm just minding my business and getting this money The grass green over here and it's sunny It's sunny, I don't give a fuck Hey y'all, what's going on? What's poppin'? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I did my fire and ice look. My I miss the sun, I miss the snow look, you know what I'm saying? So first, I'm gonna sketch out the flames uh, in the middle of my face with a white pencil. And I'm gonna go in with 0.5 and P. Louise base. And I'm gonna put that on my eyebrows and all over one side of my uh, face. And I went in with a blue eyeshadow that I forgot to record, but I'm just sculpting out my eyebrow. Um, everything that I do when I do these looks, I use makeup. Okay, some people use paint. I use makeup, y'all, because um, I don't have face paint. And I just wanted to be creative one day. And I was just like, okay, look, you got to work with what you got. So I use P. Louise um, base and it works so good it does dry very fast so you have to work in sections that's why you see me just do this little spot you know you got to work in sections and i use this little brush like this because i feel like it works best for me but you could definitely use like a beauty blender or anything like that but i feel like it works best for me to pat in the concealer the way that i want it to be but you definitely don't have to use a brush of this size so I went in after I did that with a, a damp beauty blender and just blended everything out so it has like a flat surface um, and it's not like patchy because the brush is small so the brush can't do everything okay. So went in with a beauty blender and you know try to flatten it out, flatten out the surfaces, try to make it even. You might see like slight patches and stuff like that but it's cool because shout out going over it. I went in with this Cara palette, I believe, and went in with this dark blue. I forgot about this blue so much, y'all, because I've been trying to use all of my palettes. But this blue is definitely life. So I'm going in with this blue and packing it on. Started from my outer uh, corner, going into my inner corner, and I'm using patting motions in circular motions i'm going in with this carroty palette and using this blue that i pointed to to blend out that darker blue so i'm just going to use these two blues and um the the second blue i just used is just going to get blended upwards towards the brow and i'm going to blend back and forth between both of these colors um it's no need to use too many blues because you know I mean? it's a blue look anyway so this is when I went back in with the darker blue. Just blending back and forth, y'all. I say all the time, blending is key. So if you gotta blend back and forth between colors, please do. I'm bringing it into um, my inner, inner corner because this whole face is gonna be blue. So it really didn't matter. So right here, I'm cutting my crease with the same 0.5 P. Louise. Usually, I would clean up this area, y'all. So don't do what I did unless you're doing a look like this where everything gonna be blue or whatever color anyway. So usually, I would clean up this area. You can use... Um, uh, Vaseline or I use a makeup remover liquid um, the reason why I didn't is like I said because this whole look is blue so I didn't care about the concealer turning blue as y'all can see you know the concealer will change colors if you don't clean the area up first okay okay so I'm going in with this Juvia's palette and I'm gonna take this blue um, it's a shimmer blue I'm just starting to use these palettes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm starting with that on the outer one, going in with this Juvia's palette and taking this blue. Um, the second one is a little bit lighter than the first one. And putting them both, you know, together, blending them in. And I'm going to go in with that dark blue that I used on the outer corner just uh, for some blending. And go in with this palette, my favorite, favorite, favorite palette. Use the white and put it in the inner corner. Now I'm going back in with this palette. And I'm going to use this blue to put it all over my face with a dry beauty blender. This part did take so long, y'all. I'm not going to lie because I just wanted to make sure that every part of my face had blue. It wasn't patchy. It all blended in. So I'm going to let y'all watch this part. And I'll be back with some change.
So to get into like the little nooks or whatever, the little in and in is, I use the brush that I use for the eyeshadow, okay? Everything is blue, like I said anyway. So I use the blue brush to make sure I get all up in there and get those together on the blue side, okay? Definitely stayed on the blue side. Um, I did kind of blend on my face a little bit of parts that I felt like the beauty blender did not get so that's what you see me doing just going over it going up under my eye making sure everything is blue like all the little areas that the beauty blender could not reach or that I felt like the beauty blender did not get so I'm going in with this warriors palette and I'm gonna take this white and use it as if I'm putting on some concealer up under my eyes and in those spots so yeah, like, honestly, I love this white, but you could definitely use whatever white you want. I used this white because I just felt like it would show up more, and it definitely showed and showed out. Um, so, yeah, honestly, this took a little bit of time, too, so I'm going to just let y'all watch, and uh, I'll be back. So using this blue I use my eyes I'm also gonna use this blue to contour so like I said this blue was everything this blue definitely came in handy um I didn't use no black while doing this definitely use only this blue and let the color build up as I was doing let's be honest this side of my face started to look like the girl sisters from the proud family and I was like girl you look so good in blue light you should start walking a whole blue face one day but anyway yes yeah, so just contour my face um my forehead and everything else So taking a small angle brush, I'm going in with that darker blue and I am going on top of the flames on the blue side and darkening it up, adding like some details into the flames just to make it a little darker um, in transitions. I'm going in with the Beauty Blender with the white and the blue. Just going in and blending that some more. Now I'm going in with my NYX uh, Waterproof White Liner. And I am creating snowflakes and dots all over my face that looks like snow. Um, this part was like really fun because I just like to see my looks come together. So adding these snowflakes and these little spots that look like snow fluttering or whatever it was just so cool to watch my my thought process come together so i'm gonna let y'all watch me do the snowflakes part
starting on the red side, I'm going to start with the brow and put some concealer on top of that and blend that in, honey. Um, this is how I do for my brows um, when I'm using color brows. And I do use the same brush for a lot of things. This is a Cara flat brush. Um, love, love, love this brush. Okay, obsessed, clearly. Y'all see, I use this brush for almost everything. Um, I was starting to add one, the white, to the other side. And I'm like, wait a minute, because this brush might be a little bit too big. Okay, so you are going to see me change brushes in a hot beat. And this is when I change brushes. I use the smaller brush to get into the crevices and have like, I needed this brush for more detail so I can make sure that the look was coming together so y'all could see the flames, y'all could see the side to side, y'all could see um, the bigger brush just wasn't going to do it basically. So you need a smaller brush to get in there and actually get it in there you know what i'm saying So here is just when I was making it more detailed with the smaller brush. Um, not only are there flames, but I wanted it to look like it was literally seeping into each other, melting into each other. So I took the brush and just, you know, fluttered the lines a little bit into each other. Um, as y'all see, I took that Juvia's Place palette and I went in with both of those reds for the brow the lighter red in the front the darker red going towards the back and applying it with packing motions this side was a little bit harder um to put the color on for whatever reason it was because the white of the concealer kept seeping through so it was a little bit more difficult but you just keep packing on this is where i'm showing how i apply um one piece at a time of the concealer you know like i said i uh use sections of the concealer i went in in sections because the p louise base does dry fast so don't put it all over your face and think you're going to be able to blend your whole face out right then and there no um work in small sections especially if you're using a brush like i'm using if you're using a beauty blender it might be a little bit different but if you're using a smaller brush, please work in sections. It's going to dry fast. As you can see, like even in real life, without speeding this up, I was working really fast um, to use some of the concealer on my face to clean up my brows because I knew if I didn't work fast, it would dry. So I was really working fast. My hands was really going fast, even with it not being sped up. So repeating the same process, I use a damp beauty blender to go in and blend out all the, the concealer once I use the small brush. Um, as y'all seen, as I was using a brush, you might see streaks um, because the brush can only cover so much. So once again, that's why I go in with a damp beauty blender to make sure that the surface is flat as possible, blended as possible, and it 
the more it's blended the less it will be caked looking blotchy looking all of that so fun fact while I was doing this video I started adding on the red to my face and I was like oh my god I forgot to do my eyeshadow so I had to stop and go back in with my eyeshadow I kept that part in just so people could see like you know, sometimes when we're making videos, we do be messing up and we do be getting above ourselves, uh, ahead of ourselves and stuff like that. So I just went in with a black starting on my outer crease, blending it, it into the inner corner on my outer corner, blending it into the inner corner. And I took the same red that I used for my brows to blend out the uh, edges of the black. And then I went in with a orangey red to blend out the red. So that's what I did also I once again do blend back and forth so you're gonna see me using red you're gonna see me using the black I'm blending back and forth um I did not use any black on the blue side because that darker blue did it justice but I did have to use um a little black on the red side just so the edges can be like you know a little in depth um yeah so now I'm cutting my crease same thing nothing changed P. Louise once again, I will use the cleanest area up, but since everything is going to be red, um, it was okay to not clean it up. So I tried going in with this shimmer from the James Charles palette, and it just was not giving what it's supposed to give. So I just added a little bit of black on the outer corner, okay? And then I went in with a red that I used, and I blended that black in with the red, okay? so that's what i'm showing you then i went in with an orangey red and blended that at the top and then um i sprayed a little spray and put that shimmer from the james charles palette in the inner corner so that's what i did and now i am blending out the rest of my face with the red with the beauty blender and then i'm going to do the same thing that i did on the other side and take a brush and go into the little crevices to make sure everything is getting red getting hit with the red i took some orange and some yellow to use it for the highlight on the red side because white wasn't going to do it but i did go in with a little white that's when i went in with the white just so the orange and the yellow will be able to be shown a little bit more you can see the different tones and it all don't look like red it's just smashed together so I used that red that I showed with a tab of black, okay? I did have to use black. I don't have like a deep, deep, deep red. So I have to use a red with a tab of black, okay? Little, little bit of black and blend in, um, blend it into this contour, okay? On the forehead, on the cheekbones, um, on the jawline. So that's what I'm doing right here. So taking a small little brush just like i did on the blue side i'm taking some red with some black um to put in depth just like i did in the blue more details um make it look like it's melting into each other and what i just showed y'all was a concoction that i came up with so i don't have any paint like i said so what i did was i scraped out some yellow shadow and some orange shadow into a little container and I used some concealer and some primer to be able to make this wet consistency that I needed to create the flames. Okay, y'all, when y'all working with makeup or y'all need anything, if you don't have it with makeup, you can create it. So that's what I did. Um, it was so last minute. I thought about it like, oh my God, girl, what are you going to use for these flames? You don't have no paint. You don't have no orange paint. You don't have nothing. You know that nature. So I had to make it do what it do. Okay. So that's how I created that. That's what I showed y'all. Again, it was shadow primer and some concealer to make this consistency.
I did have to, you know, go over it multiple times just to make sure that it was to my liking and add details into my face and um, all of that. I added black spots onto my face and blended them out with my hand just so they wasn't that black. But just look like, you know, sometimes you see flames and they got like little black on it or whatever because you know the flames is hot. You know, make it look smoking. And I was like, okay, these flames on the side of my face is just not enough. I need some on the top of the forehead. We need to make this red side look hot, look like it's on fire, look like it's flaming. So I'm like, okay, well, add some to the side of the face. I didn't know if it would be too much, but I didn't want it to be too little either because the blue side had snaps, so the red side got a snap too. You see what I'm saying? So going in with the detail with the red and... I mean, excuse me, with the orange and the yellow, putting more detail. And then I am going to go in and use some black in here also, right here. Um, just more detail, more color, more making it look like flames, more making it look spicy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in with this... Um, mascara i don't remember what this mascara is called but i did get it for my, my mother-in-law for my birthday and this mascara is so bomb just how your lashes lashing okay and i'm gonna go in with some dollar tree lashes oh my god so bomb so 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 bomb um i'm going in with some blue on the blue side liquid lipstick this is uh ruby kisses forever mad and then I'm going to go in with the red side. Once again, Ruby Kisses Forever Matte. And put it on both sides of the face. You already know. Stop playing. Fix the lashes up again. And the look is complete. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe onto my channel. I love y'all so much. See you later. Peace.